Good evening, good evening. So it's about 9.30 p.m. and I just got off work and I'm finally home. And I was, I had this really very interesting thought after I had this talk with my boss about um, something that I've been struggling with and something that's been a challenge to me. And uh, I really have been thinking a lot about energy and preserving energy and there's this the term that I learned from church of like God is good and God to me is the essence of everything God is the beauty of a smile great sex it's it's dancing your ass off it's it's seeing it you know um love in another person having beautiful children having a beautiful life having a beautiful job finding your passion like that's the essence of God like it's good it's love and so it brought me back to this this idea of like we are all energy and energy is floating all around us and energy is this thing that we should be positive energy is what we should be radiating towards and not just positive gravitating towards not just positive energy but energy that literally is just booming like flashes of light like that's just that you can feel the energy like there are people who just who are so intentional about what they do in their lives that when you feel their energy you can't help but like be sucked in. And this is with people who are very content in their lives and people who are following their passions, people that are living in these wonderful moments and that are surrounding themselves with other positive energy. So that all they have to give is positive energy. And I think that I used to think about energy as like, well, we have energy. We, we go to positive, I'm sorry, energy because we need to get something like that because I need it. I need positive energy. I don't want negativity. This is true. But the thing that I've been really able to understand is life is really freaking beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. And it's, it's very difficult, like in some ways, because of the tragedies that we see. But like these moments of beauty, when you really tap into to intentionally making your life good, when you understand this concept, energy is not about you getting something from someone. It is about literally living in good, positive energy because of the fact that that is what we should always have. As a social worker, I studied, you know, all these courses and classes. When you're a social worker, you study social policies, culture, sociology, psychology. You know, you study all these things and... It makes you aware of the fact that we live in this world where there are all these inequalities and where people have issues and where there are mental disorders and you study mental health and all this different stuff. But the thing is that the, or the origin of life starts from when we're children and the energy that we exude as children is a playful, positive, fun energy. That is why I'm going to use a biblical term, which is why I always am interested in church trauma healing and like self expiration. I'm going to use a big biblical term, even though I don't think the Bible is a literal document. Jesus said to come, let the children come to me. I believe that Jesus was saying like, let your energy be that of a child. Look at the world with positive eyes. Look at the world that everyone's equal. Look at the world and always remember to have fun. You know, the kingdom of heaven is seen through the eyes of a child. It's seen through always being playful and, and, and embracing everything in life and not taking life too seriously. And just knowing that everyone around you should be treated well. Because kids do not see racism. They don't see discrimination. They are literally embodying this playful energy of like, oh, I love you. <laughs> um, and so... And going back to this thought of energy, energy is not like being around good energy. It's not for you to gain something. It's, it's, I mean, you do gain something, but the topic that I'm thinking about right now is like you are surrounding yourself. I'm sorry. I'm hearing some ambulances. Um, the topic that, that I'm thinking about right now is the fact that energy, you want to be around good energy because it is your birthright. It is your divine birthright to literally be a positive person of light. To literally always be in, in positive circles of energy. To have great people around you. To have those great moments. Because that's what heals the world. And we have been so traumatized as a human species. And we have normalized so much trauma. 
that even though it's a lot of people are traumatized and most people are traumatized, but we've normalized it as something that you should continue to go through that we forget that the beautiful energy of just being a radiant person is how everyone should be. And the reason why I do church trauma healing is because I, it took me so long. It took me so freaking long and I need to really put out my content for church trauma healing. It took me so long to realize this, to realize that you should be a positive person, not for anybody else, but just because, because that's your birthright, because that is how you were born. The world and tragedy and the negative energy out there will make you, will try to make you forget that, will give you a different facade, a different light. But when you tap into the fact that no, I am actually a radiant star that should be shining so bright, but it's not just that it's not, I'm not supposed to be by myself. Everyone should be like this, but because of the fact that people don't remember who they are, they start dimming their energy and their light and people put themselves in places of shame and guilt and all these different things, which is why I don't love religion and these stru structures that we have because they do in, in many ways provide people with shame and guilt when if we didn't have religion and all these differences in culture and all these different um, organizations and groups, we wouldn't have as many of these problems because of the fact that when you start religion and you start these differences, naturally one thinks that they're better than another. And then if you'd put capitalism in there and you start making businesses off of these things, which is what Christianity has done a lot. And I, I know it's happened in other cultures and other religions as well, but Christianity, you know, has capitalized off of um, trying to make their category the best and saying that Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life, blah, 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 you know. But Jesus was saying the way is energy. The way is being positive. The way is being good to people around you. Because Jesus was actually a freaking Buddhist, you know. And Buddhist people are saying like all the time, find your truth, you know. Find the truth of life. I don't know all Buddhists, but like, these are the, the people that I know that are positive people of light that are Buddhist. They're the ones that are telling me like, you need to let go of all this stuff that's bothering you and really embrace your life because of the fact that you can, because that's what you should be doing, not to get something from somebody else, you know, but because that's the way life is at its essence. It is looking at the sun and it's looking at the sun and saying, thank you for the light. And shining that beautiful radiant light with everybody around you. It's looking at the waves of the ocean and being like, oh my God, look at these waves. Like, they're so beautiful. It's like dancing with by yourself on the dance floor and being so free. That's what energy is. That's what, that's what good energy is. It's not to, you get stuff Yes, by having your good energy and holding on to it. But it's so much deeper than this. It's the fact that we as humans, and this is very emotional for me because it takes, it took me so long to understand this. And I think about all the things that I have suffered through and the ways that we suffer as a society because we don't remember that we're energetic beings having this, divine beings having this human experience. Like, energy is so important. And we have to hold on to it because of the fact that it's who we are. You do get something out of projecting positive energy. And like, you know, we talk about twin, people talk about twin flames and like meeting your soulmates and your friends, all this stuff. But it's about you remembering who you are, having this childish, beautiful light that just keeps shining. And as society comes, as you get older, their systems want to dim your light, but you can't let that energy be dim. You have to like... You have to literally be like, no, I need, I need, I need to remember who I am. I'm super passionate about this, which is why I'm, I'm, I put out content of like freeing your body and your mind. And I'm always very honest because of the fact that to get back to this, this positive light, how I've been able to get back to being so positive and beautiful is because I do things just because, because I can, because I am a positive light and I'm trying to I'm trying to get to that to the most I can in my life and to forsake the things that's such a Christian term that have taken control of me in ways I don't like. So I hope you receive this video well and know that you can be a positive 
good energy because it's who you are.